guys, welcome back to another video, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles. And today with me, I have Snicket, my banana ball python. So I don't think you guys have seen Snicket on this channel in a while. So he's grown quite a bit, as you can see. He's starting to get pretty big. For a while there, I was thinking he wasn't going to grow, but now he sheds all the time, and he's growing like crazy. Um, I think part of that is probably because I switched him from mice to rats. So thank you to those of you that made that suggestion of switching him to rats because I am noticing a difference, most definitely. So last night I asked you guys on Instagram what videos you wanted me to film today and Mel's Animals actually requested seeing a video um, of me talking about my future plans and upgrades for my animals, which I think is a great idea because I do have a lot of plans and things I would like to do for them. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about with this video. So first things first, I want a ton of 4x2x2s. The most important one right now is Crikey. I talk about this all the time. Crikey is pretty much my priority as far as my next upgrade. Um, I want him in a 4x2x2. He is almost full grown and he's in a 40 breeder, which is the minimum. But I'm not a minimum type of person. I like to go big. So I want him in a 4x2x2. Also that way I can install lights inside and drop the shelf. So you can see right now he is way over here and I have to have this shelf raised up because of his lights. So if I had a 4x2x2, I could install lights inside, drop the shelf, get better use out of my shelves, and I could reach the top shelf without the step stool. So I want a 4x2x2 for Crikey. I want a 4x2x2 for Kronk, my Doom Rolls Boa. Right now he's in a 4x2x18, I think. It was supposed to be a 4x2x2. I was told that I was getting a 4x2x2 and one that was a little bigger than a 4x2x2. So I thought I had Kronk and Crikey covered. Well, I got them from the guy, brought them home, and found out that it was a 4x2x1 and a 4x2x15 or 18. So not what I thought I was getting. Luckily, I didn't pay much for them. So the prices that I did pay for them are still suitable for what these are. But it's not what I thought I was getting. So Kronk right now is in a 4x2x15 or 18, which is still pretty good for him considering a lot of people keep large snakes in a 4x2x1. So it's still pretty good for him, but I would like to have it a little taller because he does adventure around at night and climb around. So I want something taller for him. I also want a 4x2x2 by two by two for Tansy, my bearded dragon, um, because obviously, you know, a 40 breeder is not the best for a full-grown bearded dragon. Right now, it's great for her because she's still little, she's still growing, and I'm pretty sure she's going to be a small bearded dragon because of her medical history. But, like I said, I like to go big, so I do want a 4x2x2 by two by two for her as well. Um, Phoenix, my corn snake, is in a 40 breeder. I did have plans before I moved to build her a 4x2x2. She's a very big corn snake. Now she doesn't really go around too much. Occasionally I see her climbing around, not too often, so that 40 breeder is totally perfect for her. But a 4x2x2 would be pretty cool. So more or less, I just need a lot of 4x2x2s. But once my lease is up, I will be moving out of this apartment. Um, I really can't say too much more than that at the moment. But in the future, I do, I would like to build enclosures. Um, I would like to use white PVC. That way they're all uniform and they look nice. And I have them the sizes in the way that I want. So I would in the future love to build a bunch of my own enclosures, um, like a whole enclosure system kind of thing. So that would be like a dream goal right there. So moving off of the four by two by twos, um, I say I need a lot of those because I still want to have my own reptile education business in the future. So a lot of animals do great in a 4x2x2, two two, so it would just be ideal to have a lot of 4x2x2s. Two um, Alright, anyway, moving off of the 4x2x2s, two two, the next animal that I have plans for is Zero. So Zero is my milk snake, who is currently up in that enclosure right there. Um, it was smaller than I envisioned in my head, however, it does have the floor space equivalent to a 30 gallon tank, which is what he was in before, and I would like him in a 40 breeder. So ideally, Phoenix moves out of her 40 breeder 
into a 4x2x2 four by two by two, and he gets her 40 breeder. Either that or I get another one of these 40 breeders. Um, obviously down the road, he'll need a bigger tank as well. Um, I guess I'm just waiting to see how big he gets. I, I feel like I've never really seen a big banana ball python, um, but we'll play it by ear. He'll probably get a 4x2x2 four by two by two as well. So the next one that has huge plans is Arcadius, my iguana. So he's grown enough that his current enclosure is, he is stunted, he is small, but he has grown up this current enclosure is getting a little on the small side. Um, now originally we built this enclosure to be able to travel because I did have him with me for the last two years of college and now moving down here. So it needed to be something that we could easily transport. Um, and like I said, he's stunted. So he was very small when we built it still. Um, and we didn't think he was going to get much bigger, which he really hasn't. But he is also much stronger now, where that enclosure was built for a handicapped iguana. So he could handle a little bit more now. So we do want to alter a little bit. Um, so I was thinking about altering that one. But my boyfriend actually has his old iguana enclosure that he was in the process of making for their iguana before she passed away. So it's not done yet, but they still have it. So we're thinking about switching Arcadius's enclosure with that one and maybe using the one he's in now as a vacation home. So leave it at my parents' house so when I go down to visit, I can bring him with me. So we're thinking about doing that um, because that enclosure is a little bit bigger. Down the road, I would love to build, like once I'm situated for, like I know I'm situated, I would love to build him a more permanent, heavy duty enclosure. Um, with a lot more climbing since he's able to handle that a little better now. So those are the plans for Arcadius, but right now, um, until all of that happens, I think I'm going to drop his top shelf because he's big enough for now that he's too close to the UVB. Um, so I need to drop his top shelf and I want to take out some of the ramps and put in more wood going across, um, like horizontally for like, climbing purposes. So that is what I would love to do for that enclosure that he's currently in right now. So going off of that, um, I have said before, one of my goals is to have all of my animals on Arcadia UVB bulbs. So almost all of my animals that require UVB have Arcadia right now, with the exception of Crikey and Arcadius. Um, I do have a Arcadia bulb for Crikey, but I was waiting for his new enclosure to install it. And yeah, so... I still have that. I recently ordered him a new Mega Ray. He's just going to stick with Mega Ray for now um, until I get that new enclosure for him and can use that new light. And Arcadius, like I said, with his current enclosure, he's too close to the top. Um, so down the road, I would like to do Arcadia for him, but he's still with Mega Ray right now. And I personally really like Mega Ray. Um, and with a small enclosure like that, the Mega Ray is really good because he can easily get away from the UVB if he needs to, where the linear that goes across the top, he has to really go down the enclosure to get away from it. So right now, those two are staying on Mega Ray, but in the future, they will have Arcadia linear tubes as well. Now besides the 4x2x2s, two two the big project is going bioactive with whoever I can. I want to take any animal that I have that I can and make them bioactive. So right now, uh, I've talked about it a little bit on Instagram. Right now I'm working on a bioactive for Pip, my crested gecko. It is my first attempt at going bioactive. So it's not, it's not too bad. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, I could have done better. There is spots where the silicone didn't cover the expanding foam. So you see a little bit of foam coming through the dirt, but I figured once it's full of plants, you won't really notice. So not too bad for my first attempt, but that is in the works. Um, so once I finish that, I can start planning bioactive setups for the other animals because I'll kind of have an idea of what I'm doing a little bit. So I do want to do that. I want to go bioactive with most of my animals, if not all of my animals. And then I'm going to end this video going really big. Um, last night I was envisioning my dream reptile room. So I had a list of like my must have animals, the animals I really want the animals I really want for education purposes, what would be the maximum enclosure for them, and then planned it all out so I would see how much room I would need. <sighs> Someone win me the lottery, please win the lottery and donate all of that money to me because 
I need a big reptile room. Like a big reptile room. Like I would love to have like three units of just four by two by two enclosures like stacked on top of each other. And then a couple big enclosures for big lizards. Um, and yeah, and then you've got, you know, rows of 20 gallon conversions for different geckos. Yeah, I have got a lot of big plans that I need a lot of space for. So someone win me the lottery. <laughs> so more or less, those are my current future plans and upgrade plans and things that I would love to do. Um, I'm sure I'll come up with more eventually, but right now, those are the things that are kind of in my head for what I would like to do. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what your current reptile future plans are. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out when these future plans happen. And we'll see you for the next video.